So, good day everyone and welcome to my uh, little home studio. Yeah, my name is Florian and I want to show you a little gadget today. So, it's a caddy. Yeah, everyone wants to play with a caddy, but it's not a real caddy. So, it's a digital caddy. It's called the Arcos Golf Tracking System. And this is it. This is the whole box. It's yeah around 199 euro and let's see what is inside so open up the box it's pretty easy boom and yeah let's see what's inside boom, boom. it's like 14 pieces i put it a little closer so you can see it a little better which you put into your in the golf club not inside the golf club it's on top of the golf club so I think that means the club is a little bit longer I don't know how it does it affect something in the golf swing or maybe in your feel of the grip I will try that out and these are 14 pieces so they track every shot you do on the golf course directly to your smartphone and on your smartphone you will also have like a range finder it's also good where you have some information about the wind this will be really interesting how this work i don't know how the the smartphone or the, these things will recognize the the wind so i will also try that out later on the the golf course and the best thing in my opinion is the analytics you get after your round of golf you can have a perfect perfect analytic what so what was good what was bad how were your drives how was the approach shots or the pitches and everything so and uh, also about the distance i know most of the golfers choose the wrong club for the wrong distance so every golfer sings I'm long enough, 155 meters, I take my 7 iron, boom, 15 meters short, they should have taken the 6 iron. So, here right now we will try to attach one of these things, there you need to download the app on your smartphone, I have it here, and yeah, let's see how does it work. So. Uh, I will open open the app. It's called Caddy. Arcos Caddy. This is the app, and I will also show you later the screen of my smartphone. So now it says got sensors for every club in your bag. If you already have sensors for your club or at least smartphone. Swipe to continue, swipe to continue, install sensors. Twist the sensors into all of your clubs that do not already have a sensor and a grip. Tighten until it fits securely. Okay, so actually, I don't know. I, I think I just take one of these. There is one which is only black. All others has a little green circle. I have a one is black, all black. This is for the putter. I have 14 pieces. I twist that around. So let's see what the app will go. Okay. Pair by yourself. So put that little sticker away and grab one of my irons. I have here my six iron. It says, you may pair to the sensors by accident. Do you have a pin club with a QR code? Speed up the pairing process by scanning it now. No, I'm sorry, I don't have any pin club. I have a Titleist club. So manually select clubs to pair. Which club? So this is a six iron. I take iron, iron number six. Continue with iron six only. Okay. Have you selected all the clubs in your bag that you have a sensor? No, I just want to try one. Eh? Mm. I just go to continue. 
most uh, all of your clubs have the same type of sense I'll select just my selection for all club okay I have the it says now generation one sensor smart sensor this must be a smart sensor the small one I think it's a new model I think it's generation number three and then there's also one thing you can have smart grips they're producing also grips where the sensor is already inside or like some manufacturer like ping or cobra they have it in some of the clubs directly this is really good so i have a smart sensor okay let's go smart sensor selected so hold the camera over your club sensor until the circle for the club changes to green okay first of all i try to put it inside the grip so they wanted me to grab it here inside oh, i need to to twist it inside yeah i think this is this was easy and it's now looking like that you see it's really good really f let me grip the grip is feeling good so yeah okay so next one point your camera at your iron 6 sensor so I should point uh, at the sensor that was it already it says connected have you paired all your few clubs with this sensor? So it was pretty easy to connect it. So I will now connect all, all the other sensor to my club. And then I will have a round at the, the golf club and try it out. Sounds pretty, pretty easy. So yeah, I think it's really good. Also on the, on the package, it's showing a uh, Apple Watch, so I will try that. And I think it's a rangefinder. Then you can have the distance directly at your at your watch. So yeah, I will try that out, and then see you later, alligator. I don't know why, but it's not working. Okay, I put that away and This is my power oh, from the okay. Yeah, as the power grip is not round, it looks now a little bit confusing. So yeah, I will see if I can work with that. Sensor again. Okay. No, I have not pad all of the club. C 
So I have my my pitching wedge, irons, no, that's iron ten, and iron three was not working. So I move on. It says iron three. not working with iron three. So then this is the last clap for now. Pitching match. Here it's iron number ten. Oh I didn't put away the sticker so sensor. I said yes for now. Activate the free trial. Let's personalize your across experience. Home course. Yes, you can do. So it's searching for my home course. Let's see. Okay, the club is there, but it's written or spelled not correctly. But it's still searching. Still searching, but the club is already behind. Come on. I tried again. Ah, now it's working. Huh? Average round of a year. I don't know. Let's do like 50. Ball. Which ball I'm playing? Normally I'm playing a tight list. Pro V1. This is my ball. Safe and continue. Let's personalize the Echo's experience. Just answer a few questions or the club details. Get started. Select the club details for driver. This club is a Cobra driver. Fly. I want to fly like an eagle. Fly. Set plus. Go. So it says I should download the map of the golf club before I'm playing. It's good to know because at home I have a Wi-Fi which is with more speed than if I'm out there. I can use also Siri. Arcos uses Siri to provide shortcuts. Okay. So now it says can connect to my Apple Watch. Yeah, please do it. This option is not available. You must play at least 36 holes using the phone for shot detection before you can unlock the Apple Watch. Oh, okay, so I need to play two rounds and then I can use my Apple Watch. Why? I don't know. It's not written there. So I am now downloading my golf course. Oh, it's not big data, so it's already done. It was really quick. I need to choose the tee box. Okay, I think so. I'm ready to go. Everything connected. All right, everyone. Now I'm coming back to the Arcos Golf Caddy system. I used it for some weeks and 
yeah, what can I say about it? It's a really, really good tool. I love to use it and I love to get some data out of my my golf game and everything. So it's really great and yeah, I wanna show you a little bit about uh, the app. Okay, if I'm going on the first page on the player side, I can, can start like the overall and it will show me the different parts of my game, how good or bad my driving, my pitching, my chipping, my putting is and yeah, I see what is good and what is bad. Also, what is really nice, I see a breakdown of the scoring. From my side, I play for like 58.5% pars, but then I have a lot, 235 bogeys. Yeah. Also, what is really good, I see like, which is my longest drive. So, I see now 288 meters was my longest drive, and this was at the 29th of July. It's good to know. Also, I see my best score, everything, and I see so much data which I can use, which is really, really good. Um, okay, when I go to the next part, next part I go only driving. How about my driving skills? And yeah, I see my distance is like between 233 and 269 meters, and I can calculate with a shot of 246 meters as of right now. Also, I see my longest drive was 287 meters. But which, in my opinion, is more important, I can see something about the accuracy about my driving. Uh, all of my drives, 41% will hit the fairway, and I see 30% going to the right, and 28.5% going to the left. So that means, yeah, I don't know if the ball is going right or left. It will go everywhere, which is not so good. The next thing is really, really good, I think, for the, the approach shots. So for me, normally the second shot on two par four, I want to hit the green. How is it going? Um, Sixty-two percent, I hit the green, but like 70% the shot is short and 13% the shot is on the left side. So long behind the green only 3% and to the right only 4% the ball is going to the right. So normally I hit the shot short and left which I need to improve. This is not good. Then I see the average distance to the pin is 9.5 meters. So also if you do like how many putts you hold out of 9.5 meters for birdie. Yeah, that's way too far, so I need to hit it closer to the pin to get more chances to hold the birdie putts. Yeah, and this will also have some chipping, sand shots, putting, you have all this information. It's perfect. Then if I go to the next, next thing, I can see a smart distance of my different clubs. That means my driver is like 258 and if I look the distance range is 246 to 275 which is my my distance I hit the ball as of right now the, the, the fairways are really dry in Germany the ball is rolling 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 so it's a little bit longer than I think normally the distance is but which is also good I see the the distances of all my different clubs so which is also very interesting. I have a, a wood, a five wood with 18 degrees and I have a hybrid with also 18 degrees. So the, the five wood is normally going up in the air and the hybrid is going really long, low ball flight, like the tiger stinger, you know? But the distance at the end is the same. So I have two clubs for almost the same distance, which is normally not so good. Right now I'm looking for a good 3 wood, which I can play a little lower and hit the ball a little longer. So I can use that one for some drafts. Yeah, you will get a lot of, lot of data you can use also, which is really good. The green in regulation rate with different clubs. So I see with my iron 9 the regulation rate is 83%. 
that I hit the green with that club is really good. But I can see also, like with my 50 person wedge, uh, degree wedge, it's only 50 percent, which is really, really bad. I need to improve that one. Here, yeah. so I can scroll through my all my my last um, rounds I play. I can see all my my shots when I go like I can see hole number one. I take a hybrid and a 50 degree wedge, and I can scroll to all the different different holes and yeah this is really good afterwards to check out how it was one more thing i want to mention is the the caddy system if you are not on the course and you want to go maybe through the course one day before which is also really good and i can do like a preview caddy and going to my home club schloss meal and i will go to hole number five which is um, really good. So let's see. Asking for hole number five. This is a dog like to the right. And I'm not quite sure what I will, will do most of the time. Uh, maybe iron hybrid or like a driver. And yeah, I can show me show the op the best strategy is showing me if I hit my wood number five straight into the dog leg and then then with the next shot I run nine to the right. Yeah, this is the airboard is showing me. The problem is if I hit my wood number five really good, it's it's also able to catch the little water hazard, which is in the distance. So normally I hit the driver and. I need to cut the corner. Driver straight over to the right side, over the trees, over the bushes, over everything. And that will leave me like a 70 meters shot. Yeah, which is like a sandwich, which I had last time on a tournament. And then the hole is really easy, but, but the thing is when hit like a, also it's showing me I can hit the iron four from the T, which I also have done it. But then I have like 152 to the to the green and if the pin is at the flag, it's like 170 It's getting longer and longer and there's also some trees then you need to hit over Which is not so easy when you have a five iron and maybe into the green over to trees and on the left side is out of bounds and everything Yeah, so this is really good to show you how you can can play the, the club what can I say at the end? Uh, as you seen on the beginning, I had some problems with one sensor that was not working. Um, I contacted the, the Aqua support and they were really fast. They replied on the same day and sent me one other sensor. After I think three days it arrived at my home and I connected a new sensor, everything was perfect well. So really, really good support on that side. But, I normally play with my Apple Watch and the thing is with the Aquas Caddy system, you need to put your smartphone in your pocket the whole time. I'm using the iPhone 11 Pro, Pro Max, which is a little bit bigger. And if you have it in your pocket the whole time of the golf club, golf round, yeah, it's not really, really nice. And... As of right now, I cannot connect the Aquas Golf Caddy system from my iPhone with my Apple Watch. The connection is working at the beginning, but then I want, if I want to start a round, it's not working. I connected also the, the support and they're saying they're having some issues with a firmware update of the, the Apple Watch. Yeah. I hope they will get that out. I also have seen that they put out the, the Arcos Link system, which is a small detection sensor which you just put on your pocket, on your belt or whatever, and then you don't need a smartphone, which is really good, but you need to buy that extra. So I don't have it. I want to use my Apple, Apple Watch and it's not working right now. Yeah, so. That's the end. 
I love the system. I really need to say I love the Arcus Golf Caddy system. It's really great to get more data. So I don't know if you're also more into a data guy, like if you use also man some flight yeah launch monitors and everything to get some data. And then if you have the Arcus Golf Caddy system, which you get some data on the golf course, which is really really good. Mm, I love it. So yeah. It's a good system. If you get more rounds into the data system, it's even more accurate. At the beginning, if you have only like three, four, five rounds, it's not that accurate. But if you're playing round after round of the system and you have all the rounds in this little gadget, it's really good. And also one thing is you only need to buy it once. You don't need to pay any fees, any monthly fees or whatever. Or if you're not playing, you say, oh, I need to pay some fees every month. No, you pay it once, you get the system, and then that's it. Okay, guys, that's it from my side. Arcos Golf Caddy System, thumbs up.